Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here with a quick intro to Desired State Configuration, or DSC. I have a soft spot for tradition, so we're going to write a Hello World DSC configuration. This will allow us to write and execute our first DSC script. Step one, get a machine to play with. I'm going to use my Azure benefits and just spin up a machine in Azure. DSC was introduced in Windows Management Framework 4.0 that happens to be installed by default on Windows Server 2012 R2 machines, so I will create one of those for this video. Once the VM is ready, connect to it and start Windows PowerShell ISE as administrator. DSC relies on PowerShell remoting, and we can enable that by using the enable PS remoting commandlet. Be sure and pass the force switch. Now let's create and execute our very first DSC script. DSC introduced new keywords to PowerShell, most notably configuration and node. A configuration is a special function used to describe our desired state, and the node is the target of that configuration. Once we identify the node, we can start using resources to describe our desired state. A resource has the ability to get its current state, test that state against the desired state, and if they don't match, set that state. The resource we will be using is the script resource, which has three properties, the get, set and test scripts. The get method returns a hash table that contains the current state. For our example, we are simply going to return an empty hash table. The test method returns true or false, indicating if the desired state is already met. If the test method returns true, the set method is never called. So we are going to always return false so our set script gets called. The set method is responsible for actually bringing the resource to the desired state. In our case, we simply want to display hello world. Now we have to call our configuration to generate a MOF file that is used to send the configuration to the target node. The final step is to use the start DSC configuration commandlet to execute our configuration on the target node. The use of the wait and verbose switches ensures that we are able to see the results here in the Windows PowerShell ISE. Now press F5 to execute our script. As you can see from the output, we were able to print Hello World. Now that we have successfully created and executed a DSC script, in future videos we will start doing some real work. Until next time, I'm Donovan Brown.